Yo guys, I hope you're good. I hope you are blessed. Make sure to read your namaz. This is me and this is Amna. Oh, uh, I forgot to put my earrings on. Man, it's all right. You know. No, it's not. It's all right, man. Stop chasing clout. We are outside Axe Bay. We've just got invited down to come and throw some axes, actually, which I normally do at fun fairs. I've it's never a, done it. you never done it? Never. Well, we do it at fun fairs, but here it's, um, it's an actual store that you can actually go and do it. So I'm actually very interested. It's on North Parade. Will uh, I even be able to hold it? Yeah, hopefully. So it's uh, 31 North Parade. It's literally upstairs of VR City. So we're going to go check it out, me and Amna. Now we're just outside, we just thought we'd give you guys a little intro and then obviously go inside and um, enjoy it. Uh, but before I do that guys, this is going to be a very special video because uh, not only will I be promoting Axe Bay, going and checking it out, I just thought I'd talk to you guys which I will be doing tonight as to why I've really really been inactive. That's all to come, we're not going to be upset right now, we're just going to focus on having a fun time with Amna because I'm better now, Alhamdulillah. So uh, yeah, we're going to go inside now. And then we'll show you guys around and then we'll also show you guys a couple of games that we're gonna play so i hope you guys do enjoy the vlog make sure to like comment share subscribe and we will be picking a winner of the uh, 50 oh, yeah, pound really from the last video and then we'll also put a special word in this video for you guys and then you guys can win 50 pound from this video as well so yeah make sure to like comment share subscribe this is armin this is me aka fizan make sure to hit up our instagrams our instagram will be here and here she's tired and hungry as well so we need to go grab a scrap so we'll see you guys in about two seconds so guys we're here uh, at axe bay and it's a proper ethical theme so they've gone for the whole axe for in viking stuff and uh it's actually very nice. They've only been open a week as well. Uh, that's that's where we're gonna basically aim up. Into your shop. Okay. So that's it. Yeah. Nah, I think you can do it, man. I think you can handle it, man. Go on. For first try, last one. That's not bad for first try. Alright, go on. So what you do? Got it, got it. Got it. Got it. Oh, what a shot. Bullseye. You do come here, guys. It's actually even more fun than what it looks like. So, definitely recommend it. I'll let Amna have a go now. Me and Amna are going to have a game. So, there's a scorecard. He's going to teach us how to use the scorecard. And then me and Amna are going to have a game. And then. Yeah, she started to break stuff, so. Uh... Yeah, all right, <laughs> but yeah, we're gonna have a game between each other. And, uh, we'll let you go. We'll keep you guys posted on the score. So, guys, me and Amna are gonna go head to head scorecards here. So, we're gonna throw five shots each. And if I don't whoop her, I might as well just give up on social media. You get me? If, oh, I, if I win, he has to take me somewhere that I've been wanting to go for ages. And you know where that is? Yeah, Jungle Grill. Unfortunately, I might have to if I'm losing. Ain't no jungle grill around here, mate. I'm gonna do it here. 
Alright, so I will eat more of this because apparently I'm gonna feel better with Yeah. There you go guys, another win for me. This is like, do you enjoy it though? Yeah, good. But you didn't get a bullseye? You not got one bullseye uh, yeah, in I'm any good. round? No, I really Oh, one say. I really enjoyed it. You actually enjoyed it? Yeah. I really enjoy it. Guys, you know what, yeah? I highly recommend everybody does come down here and you enjoy it because it's actually really lit. And hopefully we can post this because there's music as well. Yeah, no, I'll try and get it cropped out anyway. But yeah guys, this is the place to be, Axe Bay in Bradford, 31 North Parade. I'll put everything in the description, even the Instagram and Snapchat links. Make sure to check them out. 100% it's 1010 and you're gonna have a lot of fun. It looks way better than what it does on Instagram. So when you look at Instagram, you won't understand the fun till you actually start throwing the axe. So yeah, make sure to check it out. This is the spot, guys. But yeah, guys, thank you so much. We're gonna cut off from here anyway, uh, and then we're gonna head over to Mums and then maybe just chill and see what's going on. So guys, I just want to say a massive thank you to um, Axe Bay that you guys have just seen before. If you guys want to know a bit more of what they do, I'll put a promo video up next and the link in the description. Make sure to go check it out. I don't want to see ya. Don't be coming around me with the bad vibes. I don't want to be mates with you, alright? I made 100 in my trap, man, I'm nice. Goldine swimming in my Sprite, I'm high. All I do is make money, I'm on my business. Nonetheless, let's get into the actual video and the reason why I'm here and the reason why I'm on my ones talking to the camera again like usual We got the ASI logo right here on the TV, well not TV, monitor Because uh, I'm editing uh, two videos for you guys But other than that, let's put everything to the side Let's talk facts uh, Before we get started with this video guys I just want to say thank you to every single person who till this day is supporting me I want to thank every single person who has always given me good advice I want to thank every single person who's told me I'm doing wrong And I also want to thank every single person who's cared for me or asked me how I'm doing when there was no need for them to do that, okay? Out of the goodness of their own hearts. Thank you so much, guys. I really appreciate it. I can never, ever, ever pay you back with how people, have, you know, how some of you have treat me and it means a lot because, let's be honest, without a lot of my followers, without a lot of people, a lot of support, I would not be able to have this house. I would not be able to live the life I want to live. I would not be able to go along with how I am on a daily basis, if that makes sense. So... I'm not going to keep this video too long, but I'm going to cut it short for you guys. So for the past week, I have been feeling absolutely out of it. Now, I have recorded four videos in the past week. And because I thought to myself, I sat on my bed and I thought, you know what? I need to pick up, I need to fix my life up. So let me just fix my life up by recording some videos. And then we'll start doing vlogmas, you know, for Christmas. Like I did in Ramadan, I recorded the Ramadan vlogs. And I thought, you know, for December, we'll do the vlogmas. That'll build up to the end of the year. And that'll give me the next year to fix myself. Now, being on social media is hard. It's not easy. Living the life I live. I'm not saying I do hard things, but it's hard. My face is everywhere, yeah? I'm on YouTube, Instagram, TikTok, Twitter, Facebook, wherever you look, you know, there'll always be me or some part of me on there. In the line of work that I do, a lot of people will not class it as work and I understand that, yeah? But um, with the line of work that I do, I am always on the camera. I'm always in people's faces, you know? I'm always in the line of nazar. I'm always in the line of, you know, uh, criticism. I'm always in the line of fire. I guess 30% of the people will like what I do, 70% won't like what I do. 30% of people will follow me because they like who I am. 70% of the people will follow me because they want to see me fail. And that's fine to do so. You have a full right. If me, you know, I'm on social media for a reason, you know, um, I chose this line of work. I chose to be on social media. So I should accept what comes with it. It is my fault. I put my hands up and I apologize for every single follower who's been watching my videos and supports me for me lacking. You know, there's no need for me to be lacking. I know that a lot of you do understand that I have a busy life I'm a father now I am, 
and my husband as well and I've got a family of my own so I just want to say you know I apologize again for not being consistent which I should have been going back to last week we recorded the A-side video as you guys know foreign names one if you guys haven't seen that yet I'll put a link right here for you guys to check out if not in the description 100% we spent uh, I think it was around four five hours recording that video I was perfectly fine right guys I've gone now I've dropped uh, Rahman off and Azzy off Kai went home I dropped his son off and came back home I got into bed and I started like, I started panicking. Now I felt like this before guys, right? I'm not gonna lie to you, I felt like this before, but it's not been as serious, right? I've got like this, where I feel like I'm in, I feel like I'm in, in some sort of danger, like, it, something's gonna happen like my heartbeat gets really fast i feel very nauseous and dizzy you know i have a lot of pins and needles i feel really weak i start sweating and i, I just don't know what's going on okay and I, I didn't really think of it to be something i just thought you know what maybe i'm just having a panic attack or an anxiety attack and i didn't really take it seriously because you know stuff like this happens and i spoke I, I turned around to Amna and i told her i said yo look i'm having a panic attack what do i do and she was like look just calm down breathe you know read your kalma uh, for anybody who doesn't know what your kalma is it's just basically a, a, a prayer um, and I kind of did calm down I guess initially eventually it, it took me it was about five minutes long and I did calm down I was fine again I fell asleep I woke up the next morning everything was fine went to my mom's and I was sat there and I started feeling in danger again the same thing that happened to me in bed it happened again right and now I've really started panicking because I'm like yo this is two in the space of half an hour that I had and I rang 111 because I didn't really think it was an emergency, I could still control myself now. Me as a person, I really hate it when I can't control my own mind, right? And a lot of people have this, a lot of people hate not controlling themselves. You know when you feel uh, like you're having an anxiety attack or a panic attack? Um, so um back to what i was saying um i had this episode again right where i just felt in danger uh, i rang 111 and they basically said you know we'll get your gp i told them all the symptoms i told them whatever's going on wrong uh, and they said we'll get your gp to ring you the next day um i went home the same night right and this is where it really really got worse okay I sat on the toilet in the bathroom and um i started feeling a bit nauseous again so i went to the bedroom um i started feeling really weird and then Amna went into the bathroom um she had a shower now, uh, what happened was, okay, well, playing um, uh, Surah Rahman, right, because I thought, you know what, maybe um, it's because I'm not reading on the Mars, you know, I'm not, I'm just kind of not concentrating on my religion. I started panicking, okay, and I went into the bathroom and I said to Amna, I said, Amna, I'm feeling really weird again, right? She goes to me, just sit in the bathroom and wait for me, right? And... Uh, I can normally control these kind of feelings and how I'm feeling, but today, you know, that day specifically, I just really couldn't control what was going on. So I sat there and I looked at the floor, and when I looked at the floor, the floor started moving, right? And I just felt so weird. And I said to him, I said, listen, the floor's moving. I don't know what's wrong with me, right? I promise you, I promise you, I can pick a gusum. I don't want to swear on my daughter because, I, you know, I, I find that stuff wrong, but I can pick a gusum. You know, no drugs, I'm a clean person, you can blood test me, you know, you can check, you can drug test me, I come out clean, okay? The only thing you'll ever find in my system is a SIG, okay? And maybe a Pepsi Max or a, you know, it's... I went back to the bedroom, right? And Amna was with me, and she said to me, listen, tell me what's wrong, because you're really making me scared. And I just started crying my eyes out. I just really started crying my eyes out. I just felt like I was, I, I felt like something was eating me, and I didn't know what it was. I was stuck in my own head and the thoughts and the thoughts I'd always have was something to do with death or I just really, really get scared, right? And I, and I just have really bad thoughts and I just felt like I was stuck in my own head and every, all the thoughts that was in my head, I just couldn't get out of them thoughts. I was like, I was trapped in my own head. I couldn't get out and I just wanted to break free and be fine again. I just wanted to be normal again. You know, I wanted to go to the bathroom and brush my teeth and feel fine and not have to worry that something's gonna happen. I've just been feeling like that. I felt like that for the past, you know, I've just been fe feeling like that for the past four days. Obviously I'm fine now, Alhamdulillah. You know, I've ha I have my episode here and there when I talk about it, but I just felt so down and I just, you know, I, I just, I don't know. It's like the episode's happening again, and when it's happening, I'm just trying to control it, but... And I just felt down, man. I don't want to say to you guys. And obviously, she started panicking as well, right? Maybe I just needed somebody to talk to, and she was that person. And I did talk to her, and I explained everything to her. I, I was trying to read my namaz. Bear in mind, that day, I tried reading my fajr namaz. And as I was reading, 
I read the first um, rakah and the second uh, the second one I just I physically could not get up and read and then I sat down and I tried reading and I couldn't and I just fell back and I said yo I'm not I can't and it's, it's bad and I know you guys are gonna think wow this kid is bad like I mean it like I was in such a state I just could not finish my namaz and I regret that I, you know I, I I'm disappointed in myself in that so I went to my mum's right the next day and I just kind of told my mum everything. I just told her how I felt, what's been going on. She did say just read your namaz, right? Okay. Um, and that's the thing you think, you know, like a lot of Asians and a lot of Muslims, they think, you know, they believe, you know, if you don't really practice your deen, you're not on your deen. Stuff like this happened. You just need to focus on it. Yeah. And and my mum's right. I'm not saying my mum's wrong. Uh, she is right in her way. So I started reading my namaz. Uh, I woke up, the, you know, that same night I read Fajr and then I read Zohar, Asr, uh, Maghrib and Isha and I felt better. I felt kind of better, I'm not going to lie to you. And I spoke to Amna about it and I said, you know, the namaz is fine but I still got an episode. It got to a point, right, then the, the, the day after that I went to see Bills because I was making a video with Bills. And I'll show you the footage guys, like I had eye bags that were massive even though I'd, I'd, have, I'd have 10 hours of sleep. I'd have, massive eye bags and I just I couldn't get my words out I'll put the footage in for you guys to check out like I just at one point I was sat with Ava building a kinder and like my eye went blank I didn't know how to build a kinder toy that's how bad it was I just I just get lost it's like blank and I'd, I'd, I'd panic when I forget my words you know you know when I first start to forget my words or forget what I was saying that's when I would really start panicking as well and it, I just been feeling so shit man I just been feeling so shit and I just I feel mentally drained you know and I, I have problems you know everyone has problems and uh, of all the problems I've had with my four years of five years of being on social media, this has been the worst. Something that's like private, you know, something where I'm getting eaten by my own thoughts and I can't get out. And I don't know if I'm depressed. I won't say I'm depressed. I think that's a large word to use right now. I just get really bad anxiety, you know. Um, I'm the sport to a cousin who's a therapist who I book sessions with. And she explains it to be uh, anxiety as well. And I, I'm just going to take a word for it and say yes. So I'm going to continue with my namaz. Uh, 100% because I do feel a lot better now it's been like two three days after that Bill's video and after the whole really bad sessions now I'm here I feel I feel a lot better I only get the episodes when I talk about the what's what's happening and I think that's what triggers it because you know my therapist yeah I was you know I even spoke to Safina if you guys don't know Safina Khan artistry she's an absolute amazing woman I call her grandma because she's old but um, she said it she said read your Mars and get counseling if you need it from me you can come get it from me but obviously Birmingham's a stretch so I stick to leads so now I'm speaking to this therapist I've got an appointment on Friday today is Wednesday and hopefully whatever it is I can somehow overcome it and the reason I wanted to speak on this matter right is because I know a lot of people out there struggle with maybe anxiety panic attacks depression whatever it is uh, I'm not like I said I'm not saying this is depression I'm leaning towards the anxiety side I just need to figure out what triggers it um, but for everybody who is struggling with something you know feel free to message me you know my DMs are open for any Muslim out there read your namaz you know what I mean stick to your religion and practice your religion it helps it really does help it brings me peace I can't lie a lot of people a lot of Muslims when they read and they pray in that in that five ten minutes of them doing that they feel so much peace and I felt so much peace obviously this is more of a mental thing as well so that's why I'm seeking counseling but if any of you need to speak about your problems my DMs are open guys don't just think that oh yeah because he's got so many followers he ain't gonna check what's going on you know he don't check his DMs I check all my DMs you know the stupid ones I don't reply to the serious ones I reply to you know so I I'm there um, even even Amna's there you know if, you, if you're a woman and you feel like just talking to a woman Amna's there I promise you when I show you she'll reply to your DM like again I'm saying this might I don't know I don't know if it's classed as a mental health thing I don't know if it is or if it's not but whatever you're going through guys feel free to speak to me you know and this is something that not a lot of people talk about mental health and it matters for men you know a lot of men have been taught from young not in this generation I guess in the, the previous generations like you know you're a man if you go through something soak it up move on you go make your money come home feed your family it is what it is but it's nice to talk as a man it's nice to talk to your partner i feel comfortable talking to amna and this is advice i gave to somebody before right if there's issues that you're you're dealing with find your comfort zone go back to your comfort zone me feeling comfortable and getting my mind off stuff is me driving me spending time with my daughter uh speaking to my wife for you guys for, un for an unmarried person it might be driving playing football watching something I highly recommend you do it because it's gonna take your mind off stuff it's gonna help you in life you know it's gonna help you uh or you feel it'll take your mind off stuff, you know, um, and truly help yourself. Find whichever way you can, whether it's talking to somebody or keeping busy. Uh, mental health does matter, um, especially with men and women. I'm not saying that women don't 
but men don't really speak on it as much as a woman do. Women can feel comfortable with their friends by speaking to it. Men feel like it's an ego thing not to speak to their boys about it. I speak to my guys about it. My guys have problems, they speak to me about it. That's that's how we work. And I want you guys to feel comfortable with your friends. You know, just ask somebody. If You know, you never know what somebody is going through. All you have to do is ask your friend, are you okay? And there might be a problem that you never even thought about. And that might have saved their life in a way. That might have helped them. That might have eased the pressure off their shoulders. So yeah, that's, that, that, that's basically what I wanted to say on this video, guys. I didn't want to cut it short because I am... I'm, I've had a couple of, um, yeah, uh, I just want to cut it short. I don't want to keep it going for too long. So I'm going to cut this video short, obviously, so like I said, guys, I want to keep it short and sweet. I don't want to bother you guys too much. But yeah, man, if you guys ever do need anything, make, feel free to message me. You know, if you guys feel like talking to Armna, go ahead, message Armna. I've recorded a couple of videos, uh, which I will be getting out over the next course. The, the next few days, 2022 is a big year, man. And I just, I wish you all the best from the bottom of my heart. I wish every single person the best. I wish you happiness. And I just, I wish you okay and comfortable and safe. Okay, guys, thank you so much for the support on the last video. Um, obviously, we did a £50 challenge for you guys. Uh, and we We've got the winner right here that we've picked. So the name is Anisha Sharma. She commented Alex. Alex was the special word for the video. Now the next secret word at the end of the video is Max. So if you guys have come so long, if you guys have come so far into the video, make sure to, you know, comment down below the secret word of Ax and I should see you guys inshallah in the next video. And that's your chance. Al Anisha Sharma, if you could message me on Instagram uh, with your comment, I've screenshotted your comment anyway. If you message me on Instagram, I will get the money transferred over to you. And for anybody else, guys, make sure to take part in the video and earn yourself some 50 quid by just commenting the special word of axe but yeah guys this is your boy Fazan inshallah I should see you guys in the next video take care stay blessed may God give you happiness make sure to like comment share subscribe I'll see you guys soon inshallah Allah Fiz